Hi, and welcome back to Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube channel. I'm Stuart Lee, and today we're gonna to talk about how to do formative assessments with just Google Classroom. Okay, first I'm gonna to go to my Google Classroom, and if you need help setting up Google Classroom, I have some links in the description below, uh, some, some videos that I've done before talking about how to set up Google Classroom and how to use Google Classroom. Uh, so check out those links if you need them. Uh, but I have logged into my Google Classroom, and I'm gonna pick an old class. These students have already graduated, so I'm not messing with anybody. And we're gonna mouse over our plus button. Our plus button is where we go anywhere if we want to affect the stream of our Google Classroom. So we can create an announcement, we can create an assignment, or we can create a question. And that's what we're wanting to do today. We want to create a question. So I'll click that button and it pops up here. I can do this for just one class or I can do this for as many classes as I'm a teacher or a co-teacher of. And I can do this for all the students or I can pick the individual students that I want to get this particular question. So I can do very differentiated for formative assessments uh, with this. But let's just ask a question. What was your major take away from the lesson today? So that's really a, a good exit question, exit ticket uh, to, to find out what the students actually came away with, if that was what your intention was, or if they came away with something different, or if they came away with no clues what's going on. And we have no due date, we can put instructions there, please use complete sentences, please cite your sources, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we can put a due date. Um, but more importantly, we can put, whether it's short answer, which in this case would be a short answer kind of question, or we can do multiple choice. Uh, and we'll talk about multiple choice in a second. Now, students can reply to each other. so students will see each other's answers and then can reply, which at that point, your instruction could say, you know, it, depending on your question, you could have a, you know, ha require them to have a small conversation or give each other feedback uh, on their answers. Um, I've seen teachers use that very positively in a classroom where they ask a question and then they have to respond to the answer for two other students. Therefore, they have to post three times, kind of like a forum uh, type situation, but you're using Google Classroom, so it's all very controlled and very teacher monitored. Um, you can make it so that your students can edit the answer, your, their answers. They can go back and edit it later, or once they've submitted it, boom, it's done. Um, we can turn these on or off at will. We can attach anything we want to, just like any other Google Classroom um, assignment or announcement. So if I wanted to attach a picture and say, you know, uh, who was the, uh, the author or the painter uh, of this Renaissance painting? Uh, you know, I can ask all kinds of, of questions uh, of my students, but it's just one question. That's all you get. And I can either ask it, which immediately posts it so every student can see it, or I can schedule it just like I can an announcement or an assignment. And this way I can come up with my exit tickets or my formative assessments the night before, the week before, whatever I'm doing my planning for that lesson. And then all I have to do is set it to say the last 10 minutes of that period. So I know that second block gets out at say 11.15, I would set this to go live at you know 11.05, maybe even 11 o'clock. And that way the students don't see it ahead of time. They can't be you know looking up answers or figuring things out. Uh, they get it last second when you're ready for it. It's all automated. You look like a magician up in front of the class. So we schedule it or not. And um, but going back to, to multiple choice, multiple choice would make a good exit ticket if you just want to ask them you know, a question about the main point and see if they get it right or wrong. Or if you had, say, several graphs of some data points and you wanted to see what they came up with uh, as far as an explanation of those, if, if, the, you know, if it were linear or, or asymptotic or, you know, you, you could ask multiple choice questions if you just wanted to find out, can they recognize this? Can they res respond to that? Um, I'm a huge fan of the short answer uh, because that requires the students to think a little bit and actually articulate what they learned or what they know. Um, and so you get a little bit better uh, depth of knowledge as to what the student has gained uh, as far as the learning process. However, you got the two choices. I'm sure you can find great uses for both. Um, but once we've uh, once we've asked that question, 
it's done, over with, and you've done your form formative assessment with Google Classroom. No other apps needed, no other websites needed. It's all right there, and just like everything else in Google Classroom, once that goes live, students get notified of it uh, via pop-up notifications on their Chromebooks or, or their tablets or their computers, whatever they're using, or they get a notification on their phone if they have the app installed. Um, very smooth, very quick, and if you didn't notice before, if you do the multiple choice, they do do summary statistics and so you can allow the students to either see the summary or not um, so that's good for you and possibly good for the students uh, i hope you found this useful i hope that you're using formative assessments they're a powerful tool when it comes to planning and scheduling and figuring out just how to take that lesson to the next level with your students um, as always i appreciate your time watching my videos i make them for you after all and so if you do like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you like all of the videos that I've been putting out, give me a subscribe. And that way you get notified every time I put out a new video. Um, it's Christmas time here, so happy holidays to you. And uh, until next time, have a good evening.